It's a simple fact. Beauty isn't condensed to just the United States. If you want to find the most beautiful women in the world, you have to go around the world. Ocean Models is open for business. I wanna be rich and I want lots of money. I don't care about clever, I don't care about funny. I want loads of clothes and fuck loads of diamonds. I heard people die while they're trying to find them. And I'll take my clothes off and it will be shameless. Cause every Ocean Models is the world's first six-star modeling agency. We provide every resource and amenity imaginable for a model to experience the industry in a first-class environment. Now it's time to bring in the models one by one and assign them their rooms. Welcome, Jilly, to your new home. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm Gillian, I'm 23. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. This is the Ocean Models Mansion. When I first saw the house, I thought it was amazing. It's not normal living standards for models by any matter of means. Never is a model apartment with a rooftop before. All right, check it all out, Layla. Oh man, this is pretty. My name is Layla Dupina. I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Cape Verde, Africa. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm in love already. I'm an island girl. I'm very feisty. So just be on my good side. All right, Layla, we're going all the way to the top. Yes. Master bedroom for me. Ta-da. Mirror. And when I go out, guys hit on me all the time. Sometimes I feel like I need a bodyguard to protect me. Mm, wow. It's beautiful. Got hot tub, jacuzzi. Wow, this is pretty. This is my bed. Yes, the big one. My name is Madison Murray, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. I'm so happy I'm here. You remind me a lot of myself in terms of your ambition and your drive, and Making you just wanted to happen. make things happen, yeah. I know what I want in life, and I'm here to get it. The kitchen. The kitchen. Wow. Right here. This is amazing. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's the size of my own apartment. My name is Brittany, I'm 21, just recently. <laughs> and I'm from Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I heard that there's a lot of nightlife going on around here. When it comes to Brittany, I'm a little concerned. She might get wrapped up in Miami's club scene and lose focus. I came from a very strict upbringing. I've never worn makeup. I have never had my picture taken ever before in my entire life. This is I'm your in bedroom love. and your bed. <laughs> oh, I feel like a princess in here. <laughs> I have no experience, no anything, but I'm interested in modeling. I'm CB, I'm 18 and I'm from New Zealand. When I first pulled up to the house I thought it was amazing. I wasn't expecting anything quite like it. It was pretty amazing and because I've been overseas modeling before I know that it's not normally like this. I do remember your headshot and your card. It was beautiful. It was that nice cropped head. You're wearing the black hat. Your face was so amazing and I'm thinking, well, that girl is beautiful. Stevie was the only model that I didn't meet in person. And now that she's here, from what I see, I think we may have a problem with her measurements. I'm going to give you the grand tour. We're going to have to go up some stairs, though. My name is Stacey. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Perth, Western Australia. This house is insane. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is fucking huge. So Stacey, check it out. This is oh, your new wow. bedroom. This is massive. And here's the best part. Come on. This is the, uh, 
the his and hers shower. Oh, hers and hers. I'm bisexual, like I dated a guy for six years and I dated like my best friend who was a girl. This Whoa. is your bed, so it's very nice. Oh, really? That one's massive. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's Layla's, that's her stuff. She was here before you, so I gave her the, the big bed. Oh, really? Why do you make the big bed? Look how many people you can put in it, it's huge. <laughs> I'm usually known as the party girl, and I think I want to take it a step further. Instead of like just being the party girl, I actually want to run the party. So like being a DJ, like I'm in control and like I own it now. All right, well, um, I have to go. I'm late for a meeting, but mm -hmm. I'll have your bag set up, and I'll see you later tonight. Yeah, cool. All right, okay, cool. thank you. All right, bye, Thanks. Kai showed me the best room, and I was like, I have to have this room. But Layla's suitcase was on the bed that I wanted, so I carried it down four flights of stairs down to the bottom floor. Hi. Hi. I'm Jillian. I'm Stacey. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. I'm from Scotland. Oh, long flight? Mm, not too bad, like nine hours. Oh, How was yours? Oh my god, mine was like two days worth of flying. Oh my god, you must be shattered. <laughs> I'm so tired. Is this where you are? Yeah, this is where I was brought. Where are you? Are you upstairs? Yeah, the room is like huge. Is that your suitcase? Um, no, it's one of the other girls. Did you I'm, just move it? I did. It's amazing up there. I have a spare bed up there if you like want to room with me. I yeah. love your style, it's awesome. Oh thanks, I like your hat. Oh really, thank you. I stole it from one of my friends back home. So do you want to go and check out the, your room then? Yeah, come see, come see. Wait a second. Do you want some help? Yeah. So I don't know what <laughs> she's got in here. <laughs> let's go and check out the room. Yeah. Oh my god, wait till you see it. Right from the beginning, it's important to lay down the law. So I marched the girls in the living room and I set some ground rules. A lot of trouble has been exerted to get you here in this place. This isn't Pennsylvania. This isn't New Zealand. This is South Beach in Miami. There are things here that can derail your career. There are temptations here. So I'm gonna go over the rules. These are the house rules for ocean models. Do not stay out late at a club. I mean, at 2 a.m., you should be back in this place, period. The rules are the most stupid things I've ever heard. That he said that we have to be home at 2. The party starts at 2. Why the hell are we going to leave as the club gets pumping? You can go to the club and have your drink and be an elegant model, be sophisticated and look good and then let your group know that you're returning home, that you're a model and you have other things to do. Kai's the president of the agency, but he's not my father. So on my personal time, I don't think he should have say in what I do. Be on time for all of your castings and all of your jobs. Like literally, they're so stupid. I bet he couldn't even follow them himself. Know your measurements. It's very important. You need to know your measurements. We're models. We're in the business of making clothing look amazing. Do I have any questions? Anybody? Good. Why are you in my bed? Who touched my stuff? I don't know. What do you mean, you know, I put my stuff right here and you're in my bed. That's my bed. Well, clearly your stuff isn't here anymore, yeah, so... Yeah, why did you move it? You, don't, you do not touch people's stuff. Stop being such and a diva. My, your stuff isn't no, I'm here. I'm not a diva, but this is my bed and I was here before you and you gotta move. You don't know me. You don't know what the fuck I had in my suitcase. You don't mess with me. I'm Stop a being nice such girl. a diva. Calm I'm down. I'm not a diva, but you do not touch my stuff. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Why are you shouting? We're not yelling at you. Oh, Calm down. I'm, because I didn't touch your stuff. How okay? old are you? Can you not just come and like... No, I'm not yeah. You don't know who you're messing with. You guys you are fucking, fucking bitches. There is no doors in this house, so watch your back, you stupid bitches. This is fucking crazy. Good morning guys, welcome to your first day. A lot of work has been put in to get to this place, to select the models that we have here and to put a vision in place that I think is an amazing vision for us to succeed as a team. There was a lot of thought that went into filling each one of these positions. I mean, first of all, we had Jacinta, who brings with us 10 years of experience in the modeling world, being a model, and then making the conversion to working in a magazine. I wanted to work with Ocean Models because there was like no other agency like that that I've come across. There's Chad, 
who has uh, traveled around the world. He knows the business and he knows how to book the job. And they kind of explained to me what they were looking to do in terms of building a really nice agency here in Miami, which didn't really exist, so I kind of jumped at the opportunity. Maria, you're capable of putting an entire division on your shoulders and launching it from scratch. My responsibility is to deal with all of the clients, such as like voiceovers and um, commercials, film, TV, print, just about everything across the board. I've had 10 years of experience being a model and I've never seen anything like what we have. There's not that many agencies out there with this type of vision that incorporates like developing girls in the right way, getting them in with nutrition, teaching them how to dress as models. Now here's the big challenge. We have these resources, now we need to connect the girls to the resources. They either come to like the table and realize how much of an amazing opportunity this is with Ocean, or they don't. There's very high expectations for the company and each of you individually too. So I expect you to each be at the top, top, top of your game. That's what Ocean Models is all about. Today we're bringing the models into the agency to meet the team and get their Polaroids and measurements taken. Have you ever been photographed or do you know how to move or? No, not at we're all. We're starting from scratch. Starting from scratch. I always wanted to be a model because ever since I was young, I loved looking through magazines and seeing super edgy editorial photos. 34 and a half, 24 and a half, 30 and a half. Where have you traveled so far with modeling? Uh, I've been to Milan and Paris and Tokyo. Jillian's a really good model. She, she looks amazing. She's got a perfect model figure. 34, 24, 32. She's perfect measurements. I'm not trying to change you. I'm yeah. trying to evolve you so you look like a model. <laughs> Wait, I, boo boo, are you blind? No, I do look like a model. Oh. oh honey, you can't walk to New York like that. <laughs> Just think they're supposed to be a stylist. She looks boring and I'm bright, tropical and beautiful. Do you know your measurements at all? Mm, 35. Okay, 37, you've put on two inches. Oh god. 27. You wearing a push-up bra? Mm-hmm. Okay, 35 with a push-up bra. There. Oh, can we talk about that, Chad? Can I get like boobs job? Absolutely not. So what happened last night? Oh, I had a bit of trouble with Layla. When you left, I moved Layla's suitcase down to the bottom floor. Don't touch other people's things. It's going to be headaches mm -hmm. and problems. I really wanted the bed, so I just took it. And I guess I'm quite a dominating person, so I kind of got what I want. 37 hip, 26 and a half waist, 33 bust. Tell us a little bit about your diet and working out and what that means to you and what you're doing right now. I count calories, so I'm 1,200 calories a day and that's it. To be in this industry, I have to watch what I eat and staying healthy while doing it. To model, you have to be 34, 24, 34. Yeah, the minimum requirements and it's like 5'8". I mean, it's a very small select people who could do it. 34 and a half, 24, 31. She's good. The clients will see a book, but they really want to know, okay, what does the model look like without all the makeup, without all the posing, what's the real image of the girl? Okay. So that's step one. And then step two is your measurements, because we need to send your measurements off to clients so that they know your, um, basically the clothes and the sizing that would fit you appropriately. 37 and a half, 26 and a half waist, bust 35. It was obvious that we were going to have a problem with Stevie. The girl doesn't match the comp cards. TV. Thanks for coming back. So now we're, we're basically going to give you our opinion. The most difficult topic for me to discuss with a model is weight. Weight is a super sensitive issue. You're a beautiful girl. You're not overweight per se, but when it comes to what I have to book you for down here, you're a little bit overweight. I did modeling for 10 years and I got to a point two years ago where I started gaining weight and I just kind of was over dieting and doing crazy exercise every day and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I'm done with the industry. I can't meet the 34, 24, 34 measurements. I've definitely had like similar experiences being weighed and measured and made to feel like I was the biggest person in the world. For me, you're almost in between, you know, a little bit more of a plus size model, between like fashion and, you know, plus size modeling. There's been two paths laid out for you. There's plus size modeling and then there's the conventional modeling. And from what I'm hearing and the consensus is you're somewhere in between, so I think if we're in between, we don't really go anywhere at all. I think 
we need to choose a path. What path is most desirable yeah, to you? Yeah, what, what do you like want to do? Do you want to keep modeling? Is it something that's like you're passionate about? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just curious like why I wasn't told. I didn't meet you in person. So, you know, we just meet now and we figure things out. If you want to do it, like work out, eat well, do modeling, but be focused, it's a hard job at the end of the day. And you have one of the best faces on our board. Yeah, I mean, you're far. so strikingly beautiful, so strikingly beautiful. We don't want to force you on like some path that you're not comfortable with. I get where they're coming from, I do. I get the industry, I get the requirements, but at the end of the day, like we need to show heart. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I have to work within the rules. And it's a source of a lot of stress for me. I need to go away. I need to find a resting place. Though I'm afraid of love. I gotta hold on what it takes. Hope it's enough. Oh, oh. Hope hey, it's Layla. Enough. Introduce you to Mikey. Hey, how's oh, it going? hi Mikey. Mike. Nice meeting you. My name is Mike Johnson. I'm 27 years old. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and now I live in Los Angeles. I'm a firm believer in energies and attracting what you want in your life and what you think about most is what's going to show up. He's going to be staying here. Uh, but not here. But in, in, in this bed because we need to put him on the first floor to separate him from the girls. It's inappropriate for him to live with the girls in oh, their wow. rooms. I don't have a room. Like, that's not fair. And here comes. Mikey, Mike, whatever his name, and he's taking my room too. So I don't have a bed. No, no, you have a bed. You're gonna stay with Madison. Oh, with Madison? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to share anything, but unless Mikey wants to share this one. <laughs> we just met. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya walked me in, he was kind of showing me around the house, and I guess Layla's kind of been moved around. She kind of feels like uh, she doesn't really have a home yet. No, we're gonna give this to Mikey for now, and you, you can stay with Madison. <laughs> you two can work it out. Okay. It'll be okay then. Mm -hmm. All right, Mikey, I want to show you around. Come on. Cool. Nice to meet you, Layla. I should have my own room in this house. Sucks. Is a type of girl that would go for a guy because of his income. I feel like she would stab someone in the back to oh, better yeah. herself. I would not trust that bitch no, with a never. Bar, so. No, no. Seriously, she drives me fucking insane. Definitely not. I'm not joking you, but I swear her hair's a wig. No, I walked into her bedroom and there was this brown fluffy thing and I swear it was a wig. <laughs> I'm not joking you. Her hair's a wig. <laughs> I'm serious. I put it on, Jill. I feel like Layla thinks she's American. Brittany and Madison are American, so I feel but like I they're going to be against Madison us. are so different, and I think in like a couple of weeks they'll they're not going to be friends. No, they will literally not. try and curl yeah. into our group. Yeah. But at the moment, Layla's trying to like get friends because Layla has no one. Layla yeah. is a loner. She has no one. Yeah, but you know why? Because she's so superficial sometimes. And she's like, like bitch. Awful, like, yeah, she's superficial. She's a diva. She's materialistic, and she doesn't care about who you are, no. how nice you are. All she cares about is how much money you make. What you're waiting, like exactly, not, yeah. So these friends are gonna last two days and exactly. they can come running to us, and we're you know, exactly. them, you know, I feel it's the Americans versus us. Why would you book a model to come over? with back and forth, I've been sending him Polaroids, emails. He booked me on my photos, we've Skyped, he knows what my body looks like, and he brought me here and then told me, you're a plus size model. He told her, you can eat, you've got two options, either get bigger or get smaller. Like, who, how yeah, dare you say off. that? Why the fuck would you tell a girl to get Steve bigger or smaller? Kaya was just a dick. Like, basically bringing Stevie into the agency and then telling her that she's fat. So what is your view on this? Like, what do you want to, where do you want to go with it? Do you, would you drop the weight or gain the weight to do work here or would you just go back home? Well, I mean, I'm not going to lose it for him. If I lose it, it's going to be for myself. I don't think Stevie's going to lose weight because I don't think she wants to. Madison 
I don't know whether it's anorexia or like a exercise obsession but I can tell there's definitely something wrong with her. I've got to think about work overseas as well like this isn't my only modelling place like I don't want to shut off my other places that yeah, I can the work. Fact is, like you do eat healthy anyway so you don't want to take it to a level where you're obsessed with eating how many calories you have every yeah, day. Yeah. Like imagine if someone said to you like you have to gain weight to model you'd be like okay what the fuck like it would depend on what I tell them to get fucked. Stevie's very upset that she doesn't have work here. She's upset that she's been asked to lose weight to get work. She's happy with the way her body is. Okay, well then go to New Zealand and work. All right, guys. So after all this talk about weight, you guys ready to go work out, and lose some weight? <laughs> 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 Leila, can we swap? No, but we're not doing it. Leila, no, swap. you got the sun. I can we swap? Oh, I actually the... asked for it. What? Can we swap? Oh, we're gonna swap. Mm. Oh, you came over there. No, you can't, cause they already said. Well, it up. I wanna stay here. I'm gonna stay here. Wait. Shut what? up. Make me. Make me shut up. No. I will put my. Leave Stevie in the shade. Yeah, Stevie's no, got. No, Why no, you wanna switch? Stevie's got. Stevie's got. Stevie's like yeah. every fucking way. It's gotta be a fucking click. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. It's too hot in here. I don't want to throw anybody in the ocean. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. All right, we're going to get started. I think you guys need some stress relief. <laughs> ocean models set up a workout in the park followed by a yoga session. The last time that I'd spoken with Stevie, it was the conflict at the agency. So I knew now was the time to speak with her. Why delay? Inhale up, overhead. Excuse me for a second. I don't mean to interrupt. Stevie, we need to talk. If you have a minute. We just need to walk. Now? Yes, please. Ocean Models had set up a workout class for me and the other girls, and I was finally getting into it and enjoying it and making effort since he told me to lose weight. And he chose the worst time and decided that it was a great idea to take me out of the class to talk to me. You're saying that I could be considered a plus size model and overweight. I'm one inch bigger than the other girls. I'm not an expert on plus sizes. I've never worked with a plus size model. I don't know much about it. I do know there's a lot of money to be made in it. I do know girls make a ton of money being plus size models. So what size is a model here? What size is a model here? We'd like to have you size two. But models that are size four still work? Possibly. Well, it's not possibly. I know models here that are size four. Well. And they're getting plenty of jobs. But you're not anywhere near that. The measurements Did that I got. Did you look at the photos? We looked at everything. We were duped. Maybe the measurements on my comp card, but not the measurements that I've seen you. The measurements are the problem. You're trying to deflect it in every which way you can. It comes down to the measurements. Well, I don't mind losing the inches. Like, that's not the issue. I just thought the way it was handled wasn't appropriate. It's a business. I get that. How do you bring it up? You can bring it up in other ways. Like, did it have to be in front of everyone? We measured. That's when the measurements took place. I'm open to anything with you. I'm open to working hard and getting you to be the conventional sizes and pushing you hard in Miami. Or if you feel like being a plus size model and do whatever you want, I'm fine with that too. But if we're combative, like we are now, I can tell you one thing, you're going home. You're just going home. The body painting thing's a fucking joke. I'm not getting my vagina painted for anyone. This season on Ocean Models. The job wasn't a semi-nude test. It's completely nude. You're doing glow, you're doing pills, you're doing crystal meth. I don't do drugs. I know this stuff goes on here. I'm not on drugs. I'm not on drugs. You're not getting paid to work out. And we work out. You don't want to work out ever. Hey, Caroline, welcome. Hi, thank How you. Are you? Caroline, nice to meet you. So you're only here for a week, that's not much time. Hello, my name is Olia and I love fashion TV. I also love Victoria's <laughs> Secret. Do you have a Lamborghini? <laughs> so you don't want to have a guy with big penis, so you just want to have a small one and fake it. Hello, Daniel! 
Come on, you want a big ass. It's not a joking matter. This girl, I do believe she has an issue. You think it's anorexia? Wait, Layla, stop being a bitch. I have. Take I'm the top. I'm Wear your ring. Take the top. I'm gonna pick Wear your ring. Like if I got another accident or something and it completely like detaches, like am I blind for like ever? Like that's it. What's the definition of slut, Stacey? <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do for you. You're fired, get your own ticket. Okay. See you later. I don't wanna be in your agency anyways. He wants to fire me. He wants to fire me. Now I don't have an agency, I'm not gonna work. Do you see? Oh, that's like so fucked up. I I've never been around a group of models that have been so demanding, self-centered, arrogant. Mm -hmm.